and welcome to Speak English with Christina, where you'll have fun becoming fluent in American English. I'm your English coach, Christina, and this month we're gonna have fun with real spoken American English because often it's hard to progress from the clear, articulate English of lessons to real world conversations. So. All this month, I'm gonna challenge you with special videos featuring real, fast American English. Let's go. Just to let you know, the extracts that you'll hear in the videos this month are all from my new course, Understand Real American English, which helps you decode fast spoken English and feel comfortable in real conversations. In spoken English, we don't always pronounce all of the sounds that you see written. Let me show you with some sentences from a conversation between my cousin Bonnie and me about a recipe for a dish called grape salad. Read the sentences out loud to yourself, and then we'll listen to how it sounds in real conversation. Here's the sentence. That great salad stuff. Now, listen to what you would hear in a real conversation. That great salad stuff? That great salad stuff? Mm, yeah. Here's another one. I asked her how to make it. And here's what you'll hear in real life. I asked her how to make it. I asked her how to make it. And a final example, I found the recipe and the way it sounds in conversation. I found the recipe. I found the recipe. Did you notice a difference between the clear, articulated version and the real version? When you read the written expressions, you are probably careful to articulate the final consonants of words like that, asked, and found. But in fast conversations, you won't always hear the final sounds P, T, and D. It's too much effort to say that grape salad stuff, so we just throw it out there like that grape salad stuff, that grape salad stuff. And it's not being lazy, it's actually a real phonological phenomenon with a fancy name, elision. You won't hear a clearly articulated sentence like, I guess you found the recipe, but you'll hear something like, I guess you found the recipe. Found Listen again. I guess you found the recipe. Found you'll never hear something clear like, just mix everything up, but, Listen. just mix everything up. Listen again. Just mix everything up. And instead of a third of a cup of sugar, you'll hear a third cup of sugar. Again. A third cup of sugar. For all of you who like nice, neat rules in English, I'm sorry because there are no rules that determine when these sounds disappear all the time. In the conversation, Bonnie and me, we talk about vanilla extract, an ingredient in the recipe. And sometimes we drop the sound completely, like extract, extract. But sometimes we just cut the sound short, like we half articulate it. We stop the sound prematurely, like extract, extract. And to be able to instantly recognize the different sounds of the same word, 
quickly in conversation, you need to train your ear, like with Understand Real American English course. Now, what about you? When you hear Americans talk, have you ever noticed that they cut the final sounds like this? Give me some examples that you've heard in the comments. And don't worry if you don't understand, because that's why you're here to learn and figure out all of these strange sounds of real spoken English. And while you're waiting for the course Understand Real American English to be available, you can immediately understand 12 everyday expressions that Americans say fast with my American Accent Survival Kit. Just click the image below. And of course, subscribe to my channel so you get a new English lesson each week. Thanks for watching Speak English with Christina, and I'll see you next time.